Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record to play for you. Today's book is Mr. Easter here, 1979. So let's get started. This is your Kid Stuff read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means that you are to turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure into the land of fun. Open your book, and we will start the story of Mr. Easter Hare. Remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. The people of the little village were very upset. Soon it would be Easter, and they had nothing to give their children for Easter treats. The people of the village were very poor. There was a terrible drought in the valley where they lived, and all their crops withered on the vines and died. Now the villagers had no crops to sell at the market. And no crops to sell meant they had no money to spend. To the people of the valley, Easter was just as important a time as Christmas was. Unless there was a miracle, there would be no treats for the children. The only things that there were to eat in the village were eggs that the hens laid. There were thousands of eggs each morning, and the children had eggs to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They knew that they could not give eggs for Easter treats. One evening, the mayor of the village called all the people to the town hall for an important meeting. The mayor told all the good people that for the first time in history, there would be no Easter treats on Easter Sunday. The mothers and fathers were all sad. One lady stood up and said that maybe there would be a miracle, and everyone hoped that a miracle would happen. Then, from the back of the room, there came a voice of a very old woman who had just moved into the village. She was not known by many of the people, so she introduced herself and told the people that once, long ago, when she was young, her Easter was saved by a miracle. All the people turned and looked at her. The mayor asked her, what was the miracle? She told all the villagers to collect all the eggs that their chickens had laid and to bring them to her small cottage near the great forest. Then she told them to find different colored dyes and bring them with the eggs. The people looked at each other and all nodded. If it would make Easter morning happy for the children, then they would do as she asked. For the next week, there was great excitement in the village. The grown-ups were always whispering among themselves, and they would stop talking completely as soon as a child came into the room. Then it was Easter morning. All the villagers got their children up very early and told them they should go for a walk in the forest. Soon, all the children were walking with their mothers and fathers through the forest. Then, a little boy cried out that he saw a green egg. Then, another one found a red egg, and a little girl found a blue one. The children gathered up the eggs from under the trees and the bushes in the forest. The parents looked at their children's eyes gleaming and the smiles that covered their faces. The children were finding eggs of 100 colors. Who could have left these eggs, wondered the little children.
From behind a bush, there hopped a little brown hare. Ah, cried a little boy. The bunny must have left the colored eggs. The children all agreed. It was a magical Easter hare that had brought the eggs. The mothers and fathers all nodded their heads and smiled. The villagers all looked at the little old lady who had told them of the miracle of her village long ago. She said to them that the Easter Bunny had come to this village and that she was very glad. That is how the Easter Bunny came to be. And to this day, he brings happiness to all the children of the world. So that was Mr. Easter here for 1979. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a great day. And our next book will be The Story of the Easter Bunny.